Uh, here's another sign for you, right? CPAC. CPAC is the Conservative Political Action Committee. CPAC uh, has run, uh, I think I've told you this, has run uh, conservative conferences for, since 1972, is, is, a, is, 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 a, you know, is a major uh, uh, conservative event, these conferences. Well, the keynote speaker, other than Trump, Trump is the keynote speaker this uh, week in, um, in Dallas, I think it's in Dallas, in Texas, uh, but the secondary, second keynote speaker, the guy who opened the conference this morning, I think, was Viktor Orban, the president of Hungary. Now, let's be clear on who Viktor Orban is. Viktor Orban is a, uh, uh, you know, explicitly a Christian uh, nationalist conservative. He believes that there should be no separation of state and economics. He believes in a kind of governance and a kind of conservatism where um, uh, the, the, the president, in this case him, uh, should be able to control the Supreme Court, should be able to control uh, the, the media. There's almost no opposition media in Hungary. All of it has been shut down, and, and the ones that still exist have been taken over by uh, Oban cronies. Uh, he's very popular in, um, in, uh, in Hungary. Uh, he keeps winning elections, and there's no reason to believe that he's not winning them Fair and square, but uh, but he, you know, but there's no alternative media. There's, uh, you know, all the big industries in um, in Hungary are run by his cronies. Uh, he is he is uh, you know almost a fascist, not quite. The other day, uh, at a talk in Romania, he said that uh, one of the things that Europe needs to avoid is mixing of races. So he is an explicit racist, um, and uh, he's anti-immigration. Remember, he built the wall to prevent the Muslims from coming in. Um, uh, of course, the funny thing is that he is pre presents himself as he saved Hungary. But the fact is that not a single one of those Muslims wanted to stay in Hungary. They all were going to Germany. So he actually saved Germany more than he saved Hungary. Um, a majority of Hungarians support him. But he is a bad, bad, bad guy. And he is exactly the kind of Christian nationalist conservative that, uh, you know, is, I think, adored by today's uh, national conservatives. Uh, you know, when, when they wrote the principles of national conservatism, I think they were thinking of Orban. And uh, the fact that he is now receiving standing ovations at CPAC, and if you saw his talk when he talked about the fact that marriage should be only between a man and a woman, standing ovation at CPAC. Uh, Taka loves him. Taka's flown to Hungary to interview him. Uh, Donald Trump uh, just played golf with him yesterday. Um, they, um, no, Yom Chazoni loves his politics, and he thinks it's appropriate for Hungary, even though Yom Chazoni is Jewish. So Oban is not mixed. There's nothing good about Orban. There's not a single virtue that Orban represents. And what, um, what, um, and look, he's part of the EU. Why is Hungary that condemns the EU all the time, that goes after the so-called neoliberals at the EU? Why is Hungary part of the EU? Why? Because the EU massively subsidizes the Hungarian economy, because there's massive benefits, and him and his cronies have gotten rich off of the EU. This guy is corrupt, is a thug, is, a, uh, is, is not for individual freedom. He's anti-individualism. I really don't get it. I mean, it, it boggles my mind how, Scott, you can claim to be an adherent to Ayn Rand's philosophy, you can claim to be an individualist, somebody who believes in individual freedom and in capitalism. Orban doesn't believe in capitalism. He's a, everything in Hungary is crony. Um, Orban doesn't believe in individual freedom. He believes in Christian nationalism. Orban doesn't believe in freedom of speech. He has restricted speech throughout Hungary, particularly of the media. Orban doesn't believe in anything you profess to believe. But because he's not on the left, because he hates the left, because he's anti the left, well, he's mixed. Hitler was mixed by that criteria. And I'm sure, I, I shouldn't say this, but Hitler was mixed by that criteria. That is, that is the reality. And of course, Hitler didn't hesitate when the time came 
to sign a deal with the devil, which was his devil, which was Stalin, right? I don't give a pass to the left. I condemn the left as evil, as destructive, as horrible. I don't say they're mixed. There's nothing mixed about critical race theory. There's nothing mixed about, uh, you know, about anything, about socialism. There's nothing. I debate the left more than I debate the right. I cover the left on this show more than I cover the right. I condemn everything about the left. I condemn their moral subjectivism. I condemn postmodernist uh, epistemology. I don't say that Biden is mixed. I don't say that Pelosi is mixed. Even when they do something good, I say, okay, she did something good, but she's really an evil human being. That's what I said yesterday. I mean, the idea that I give a pass to the left is disgusting, Scott. It's dishonest. Because you're on the show enough to know that that is not the case. The fact that I consider the right a bigger threat than the left is not giving the left a pass. I don't defend Biden. I condemn everything that Biden done. I condemned him on Afghanistan. I've condemned on everything on the economy. I placed the blame on, on inflation on him. I, I mean, really, you, you have to make this stuff up because I won't be as ruthless about thinking that the left is worse than the right on everything. And, and I do think they're worse than the right on many things. It's just that I don't think they're the long-term threat to the country. I don't think, uh, I don't think Biden is any more authoritarian than, than Trump was. That's a reality. But that's not me saying he's mixed. The fact that I think you guys are, you know, have no ability to objectively analyze presidents, because if they're from the left, if they're the Democrats, they're immediately the devil if they're on the right they're mixed. If they're on the right, they're always mixed, or good, or, or brilliant, like, like Trump. But if they're on the left, they're evil, authoritarian dictators, always. That's you being unobjective. I try to be objective, but that doesn't mean I say they're mixed. Yeah, I mean, appeal to authority does not work on me, Scott, and it shouldn't work on you, and it shouldn't work on anybody in the audience here. All right. Uh, I'm getting angry. I should I should call it quits. I mean, it really does piss me off. Um, the 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 willingness of of people who call themselves objectivists to um, accept anything, the worst kind of evil from the right, and just fine because they're not the left, is tr tries my patience. If you haven't noticed. All right, everybody. Thank you for listening or watching The Iran Brooks Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to iranbrookshow.com support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one, of those, uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see The Iran Brooks Show grow, please consider sharing our content, and of course, subscribe. Press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are already subscribers and those of you who are already supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.